Okay, so we have this question from the INMO1993 paper and it's question nine. Now the reason I'm choosing this question here today is because I did a little bit of research into what people were considering some of the nicest, some of the most elegant mathematical questions ever asked on the Olympiad and this is one of the questions that popped up. So yeah, let's dive straight into it. Okay, so the question itself says, prove that there exists a convex hexagon in the plane whose all interior angles are equal and whose side lengths are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in some order. So first of all, we have that we need a convex hexagon and a convex hexagon essentially means that the interior between two sides cannot exceed 180. So for example, this is what is known as a convex hexagon or as the, this is an example of a convex hexagon and something that looks like this, terribly drawn, but this is a convex hexagon because none of the angles inside here exceed 180. An example of a concave hexagon, which basically is the opposite of a convex hexagon, looks something like this. Because here we have an angle that is greater than 180 degrees. So this is a concave hexagon here and this is a convex hexagon here. Perfect. And not to forget that a hexagon means we have six sides. So both of these here have six sides. Okay, cool. We know that we, we're wanting a convex hexagon, so something that looks like this here. And what we then look for is we want the interior angles all to be equal. So all of these angles in here must be equal. And we have that each of the sides, so this side here and so on, must be one, two, three, four, five, six in some order. So we're going to get some kind of obscure looking hexagon. So the first thing to know is if we have that all interior angles are equal and that we want a convex hexagon, then we know by definition that each of the angles inside this convex hexagon must be 120 degrees or 2 pi over 3. And that is just by simple geometry when it comes to convex hexagons. So as an example, just because it's a little bit neater than the convex hexagon I drew above, I've got a convex hexagon here. And what we were just saying is because of this, we must have that the angles must equal 120 degrees or 2 pi over 3. And that means that this in here is 120 degrees and so on. Okay, so this must hold true because we have a convex hexagon and all of the interior angles are equal. So we know we must have a hexagon that looks something like this. But the difference is we actually need the lengths to be different lengths. Because obviously in this example, each of these lengths here, call them x, they're all equal. And obviously we don't want that because that's not what it's asking in the question. So... We've answered the first part by saying we want a convex hexagon that has interior angles that are all equal. So we know that each of the angles must be 120 degrees. But what we need to consider next is this convex hexagon must have side lengths that aren't all equal. They are 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to 6. So there's a really nice little trick that you can do with this question and it's by noting that we can essentially extend each of the sides of this hexagon continue extending them on to form equilateral triangles at each of the sides. So for example, what I mean by that is we can extend this line on here and keep it going straight. Let's We'll overshoot it for now just to demonstrate. And again, we can do the same on this example, this side, and note that this here, hard to tell with my orange pen, but this here, inside here, all of that is an equilateral triangle. And the reason we know that is because this here if we take 180 minus 120, we get 60. So this must be 60 degrees in here. Likewise, this is 60 degrees and the angles inside a triangle add up to 180. So this must also be 60 degrees as well. So if we did the same for this one here and just take one side and extend it a little bit and then the same here, we could probably start this one out here. Perfect. And then this one all the way down there. Now, obviously I'm overshooting it with these parts here. We just have to get rid of those uh, in the full example. But again, we have another equilateral triangle here, which was terribly drawn. Um, 
but you get the concept. So we end up with 60 degrees in here and so on. Okay, now you might be wondering why are we doing this? <laughs> what is the point in doing this? But this is a really clever technique that we can utilize in this example to essentially get the answer. Consider the case where we don't have equal sides. So for example, we obviously have that each of these sides in here are equal. So they're, say, we'll call them x. So call all these sides x. Now obviously in our example, we don't want x. We want one, two, three, four, five, six. So what we can actually do is we can construct a triangle, so an equilateral triangle, which is the same as this outside shape here. Let's start by drawing an equilateral triangle. Okay, so what we have is an equilateral triangle. We know that this corner is 60 degrees, this corner's 60 degrees as well, and likewise. Okay, now what we can do is we can basically draw, so we can draw each of these equilateral triangles but with different lengths inside this new equilateral triangle. So for example, let's say we're going to draw this here. This is going to be a very poorly drawn equilateral triangle. Um, yeah, that's 60 in there again, 60 in there. So we've got an equilateral triangle. Now we can do the same and maybe extend this equilateral triangle further out. So we have, again, slightly larger sides. And again, we can do the same here, an even larger equilateral triangle. I don't really need to be labeling the 60 degrees because obviously I've added the little lines in here to denote that they're equilateral triangles. But just for the sake of the video, in case you're confused, I've just added in the 60 degrees is here just in case um, anyone's a little bit lost. Now, you'll notice that what we have essentially done here is we've created a hexagon. So this here is a hexagon. Is a concave hexagon and by the fact that we have these equilateral triangles on the end the insides of this hexagon are 120 degrees each so if you can't see that just note that we have here 60 degrees so this must be 120 again we have 60 degrees there that must be 120 and so on now one thing that's left to note is well we have essentially different size lengths here. So the entire equilateral triangle length, that's given by x. We can say, well, this equilateral triangle that we drew on the end is given by a. This is given by b. And then this is given by c. So as a result of that, we can say that the resulting hexagon has side lengths of the following. So we have A because this here is A because it's an equilateral triangle. So we have A. We then have X minus A minus B and that's because we're taking the whole of X along here. Then we minus whatever A is minus B. So we get this length here. So we have x minus a minus b. And then similarly, if we do the same going around the hexagon, we would have b, because this is b here. Then we'd have x minus b minus c, which is this one here. Then we would have c, which is this one here. And then finally, we would have x minus a minus c which is this one here so we know that the length of the hexagon the sides of the hexagon must satisfy this here for a given a b c and x value and it just so happens that we are able to construct a convex hexagon as asked in the question so we're able to construct a convex hexagon with all of the interior angles equal and in order to satisfy that the side lengths are one, two, three, four, five, six in some order, it follows that A must equal one, B must equal two, C must equal three, and X equals nine. So there we go. We have shown that it is indeed possible to construct a convex hexagon where the interior angles are all equal and the side lengths are one, two, three, four, five, six in some order. And this is the answer here. It's a really beautiful question. A lot of people seem to really like it as well. And yeah, it's been really nice solving it. Like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you all in the next one.